In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert your HTML web app into an .exe file that you can execute on your computer. Basically, how to turn your web app into a native desktop application. The method we're going to be using is very simple, but many companies use it to build their desktop applications. To give you an idea of how popular this is, Here's a list of applications that were built using this method. Skype, Discord, the Atom Code Editor, Slack, and Visual Studio Code, just to name a few. In order to demonstrate how to quickly turn your web app into a desktop application, I'll be using one of my previous projects. This is a web application I built in the previous video. It's basically an audio player with a cool visualizer at the bottom here. Yeah. You can view a playlist by clicking on this button here and you can press next to change the song. Also, you are able to change the volume of the track using this slider here. By the end of this video, we will turn this simple web app into a fully functional desktop application ready to install on any computer. Let's get started. The first thing you will need to do is open your project folder in Visual Studio Code. In here, you are going to need to make sure that all the files required to run your application are available. So I have my index.html file, my script, and also my CSS here. If I click on go live here, you will see that my application will launch and everything works. Before getting started, you are going to need to install Node.js. I have a video on how you can install Node.js in the video description. Once you are done installing Node.js, you are going to need to install Git. Basically, just download and install Git here. I can make a video on how to install it as well. But for now, you just need to know that you need to install these two applications as our prerequisites. Once these two are installed, you are going to need to open Git. Once Git is open, you are going to need to navigate to the folder where you have your website files. So I'm going to say CD and then go to that folder and drag it into Git here and click on enter. And as you can see, I have my website files here. The first command that I'm going to run is npm init npm init dash y. This will basically create a package.json file into our website folder. So if I go back to Visual Studio Code, you'll see that I have this new file that is created here. Next, I'm going to need to install Electron. And to do that, I'm going to clear everything and then write the commands npm install dash save dev Electron. This will basically download all the modules required to run Electron into our website folder. As you can see, when I go back to Visual Studio Code, you will see that I have this node modules file here. And with that, we are done with Git for now. So what I'm going to do is click on our folder here at the top. In here, I'm gonna create a file called main.js. Once I've created this file, I'm going to go back to our package.json folder here, and I'm gonna change this from script.js because I'm already using script.js for something else here. So I'm gonna change this from script.js to main.js so that it points to our main file here. In our main.js file here, I am going to import app and then import browser window from Electron. And then I'm going to write a function to create our window. Within our function, we are going to define our window here using the browser window function we imported. Within this function, we are going to define the parameters of our window, beginning with its width, then its height, making it resizable. From there, we are going to enable the frame and then hide the menu. Our icon is going to be in our directory name and then assets slash icon.png. So in my assets folder here, I have this PNG. So this is what we're going to use as our icon. And for our web preferences here, I'm going to set node integration to true so that we can use node APIs 
e in our desktop app and then context isolation to false for now and enable remote module in order to allow the use of older versions of electron next i am going to load our html file here so basically this will load our html file here into our window and then outside my create window function i am going to say app when ready and then call the function when our app is ready and basically this is what our main.js file looks like i think that's it for all the code we need to write for this one because we have our main.js function and we've written everything here so in order to run our application we are going to need to go back to git in here i'm going to clear everything and i'm going to say npm start to start our application oh damn i think i'm missing a script so basically what i need to do is go back here within our scripts here i'm going to have to define start so i'm going to say start and i'm going to point that to electron like this and then save then go back to git and let's say clear everything and do this again npm start and done so basically our desktop app is started here as you can see we have our icon and we have our icon there and it is resizable you can play around with the perimeters over here and customize the width height make it resizable disable the frame enable the frame you can do whatever you want in here for context isolation here please set this to true for security reasons you can re reload your application by closing this and then running npm start again but as you can see our our app is created here it works even if you don't have internet so in order to export this into an executable file you are going to need to go back to git here let me start by cancelling this and then erasing everything in order to export we need to install another package so let's say npm install dash save dev electron package like that once the electron package is installed we are going to use it to export our executable desktop application so i'll say npx electron package and then i'm gonna specify the folder where our file is going to be and that's going to be my app for the platform i'm gonna say win32 for the architecture i'm going to say x64 because i'm using a 64-bit operating system and then i'm gonna replace our icon so that it doesn't use the default electron icon so i'm gonna say our icon is set uh, set slash icon dot ico and then i'm gonna say override and enter this will package our code into an app here yeah. so if i go back to visual studio code you'll see that we now have a new folder here yeah. this is basically our app in order to see it let me go back to file explorer and you're gonna see that our app is available here yeah. if i open inside i'm gonna see all the files that are required to run our app and our executable file is going to be here yeah. so i can double click this to start our desktop application our application here is complete you can see our app you can resize it and you can see our app icon over there if i turn off my internet my app is going to work offline and if i want to distribute this desktop application all i need to do is take this and put it in a usb and send it to another person or maybe zip it upload it to a file online someone's gonna download and unzip it then run it on their operating system if you are interested in a full course on electron please let me know in the comments down below Please like the video, subscribe and hit the bell to get notified when I release the next tech tutorial. With that said, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.